What's up ladies and gentlemen? This time we're back with another video and we're reviewing the GeForce RTX 2060 Super by EVGA. So let's get into it. Well, just looking at the box, it's not much in terms of graphic design, but no one really cares about the box in the end. So let's get straight into it. slides out without much of an issue. We'll get into this in a moment. First we gotta check the goodies, if any. Okay. Cool. And So not much actually comes in the box with this particular video card. You do have a kind of like a shroud. Plug this into the PCI ports on the video card's PCB and it kind of smoothens out the look so you don't have cables hanging left and right. We'll get into that in a moment. Installation guide, keep that off to the side. And here we are at the card. wrapped fairly nicely and bubble wrap everyone loves bubble wrap keep that to the side it's kind of wrapped like a taco or a shawarma Keep that to the side. Well, here's the card. It's fairly easy unwrapping it. And, well, let's see some initial impressions. All right, we have two fans. We have a, it's a bit of a transparent shroud on the housing for the heatsink. It's okay, it's all right. But the RGB lighting. We have RGB lighting here, here. Here, 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 and here. Last but not least, the logo is RGB lighting. That's what most people will be looking at when they look into your case through the side window. We also have a back plate on the back. Looks fairly nice, no complaints about it. It has some grooves and slots for heat dissipation. No issues there. Also on the back, we have three display ports with one HDMI port, as well as a USB type C port right here. The video card does have eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. It also has a boost clock of 1695 megahertz. Depending on the silicon lottery, you may have more could have less, but regardless, this card will pack a punch and it's a decent card for what you're paying for. It's pretty good. It also has two PCI uh, power slots. One is a six pin, the other is an eight pin. So if you're looking to upgrade from a previous card, make sure your power supply has two available cables for this. Also some notable things to mention is that the card is not nearly as big or heavy as the MSI's Trio designed card. 
It is heavy, but not as heavy. Also, we'll be getting into what's really important. Uh, benchmarking, noise. Also, we'd like to get into the RGB lighting, see how it looks in your case, as well as temperatures and so on and so forth. So, let's get into that. Here we have the EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Once again, we'll launch a Superposition Tech Demo at 4K Optimize. But first, we'll talk about how it looks in the case. Currently, we're not using the shroud for the PCI cables. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than the MSI video card. And of course, at idle, there is no sound. Here we launch the Superposition Tech Demo at 4K Optimize. What we're trying to do is check the frame rate of the video card as well as the temperature and fan noise. As it heats up, of course, the fan speed will increase. Currently, the fan speed is at about 40%. And it's still somewhat quiet, I can't hear it. Performance is quite solid. Uh, it's not so far behind the 2080 Super. I mean, it is, but it still gets pretty good performance for a 2060 Super, which is supposed to be a mid-tier video card. Also, the, it has RGB lighting, but we didn't currently set up the software for that. Looks good, looks good. So coming up, we'll do some real game benchmarks and gameplay footage of Battlefield V with the new expansion of the Pacific War. So we'll put this on. Rising Sun. And we'll see how the PC does in real gaming applications.